We're in Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, one of the most polluted cities in the world, where International University of Sarajevo students took the initiative to create the first most sustainable university in the Balkan region. Architecture students, together with their professor, created a project which focused on remodeling the university and its surrounding while putting the emphasis on sustainability and environment. This is what great individuals with great ideas can achieve. I came up with the idea of having a master plan for the university. And the idea of having a master plan is that how can we improve everything on campus? From the landscaping, from the type of plants, from the buildings, from everything. And to implement this project, um, I figured that the best way to do it is to involve the students because the students, of course, are going to leave the university and they're going to carry these concepts and ideas with them. Uh, the goal of the project was to make IU's the most sustainable university in the Balkans. Uh, I was super excited uh, because um, this also opens uh, opportunity for us students to be involved uh, in IUS projects. And we split the project into two parts. One was the campus itself, the other part was the buildings, and the students started to work on it. Considering the best locations at IOS campus and those locations that have the most sun, we have decided to place a plant nursery at the eastern part of uh, campus territory. So uh, in this way, we are uh, trying to include students uh, to raise awareness about simple things we use every day uh, and can be made in a sustainable way. So the idea was to <clears throat> focus on urban food security. Urban food security is part of the, the goals of the, of the initiative. And the idea is very basic. Instead of bringing the food from so far away, bringing it to the cities know you grow the food in the cities to reduce pollution, to reduce traffic, to reduce transportation cost, and so on. So we started working on community gardens for the community here in the Legia, so you can invite people in. Uh, everyone would have his own little garden. At the same time, involve people on campus. Also, uh, medicinal and aromatic plants. You can, you can grow medicinal plants anywhere. So the idea was to um, just enhance the resources of the university and have something continuous that we can start now and continue into the future. The benefits are uh, that we are actually opening new possibilities in universities, such as opening new departments in which plants can be used for research program and also for medical purposes. The idea with this uh, plant nursery was to, uh, to grow plants for the IOS University and to distribute them uh, to, uh, for further into areas such as greenhouses, tea gardens and community gardens. The idea uh, of uh, implementing tea garden in campus uh, came from the fact that uh, tea is highly consumed by student members and also staff members. For example, Sarajevo is... Um has a big pollution problem. So we, uh, we, we thought about adding very specific plants that could clean the air. They're called anti-smog plants. Uh, so those could be, we can do a lot of experimentation on these plants. In general, all these uh, areas on the campus are connected and are uh, dependent on each other. For example, we, uh, we plant those plants in plant nursery and distribute them further into uh, other community gardens, tea gardens, etc. This project is uh, important because it is raising uh, awareness uh, in people that it is really important to uh, first save environment uh, to uh, make it clean and uh, to uh, improve by uh, putting plants and make better organization uh, so in that way that whole community can be included. Of course, yes. <laughs> of course, yes. Yes, of course. Each one of us can make a difference, but together we can make a change. Start your own sustainability initiative now. As IOS students have shown, even the smallest step can lead to a big result. There is an important call that you should take today, and that is call to Earth.